Hello everyone! Happy Wednesday! Thanks for joining me for a craft night with friends. My name's Alyssa from Penguin and Fish, where we make cute embroidery kits for beginners. And I'm here on the weeknights at 8.30 p.m. Central Time, and it's the time that we can relax and craft together. All right, you guys, we got really far on our little zebra yesterday. Uh, we just have uh, the one little leg left to do, and then we can focus on the uh, colorful, um, colorful little Z's we're gonna do. Oh, I guess we have to do his face too. We'll get all that done. Uh, I, we won't get the Z's done today, but we'll get a good start on them, which is farther than I thought we'd be at this point. And we're gonna do those with lots of colors and we'll get to like pick through all our massive threads here uh, <laughs> to, to do that. So thanks again for joining me. Uh, let's get stitching. Okay, everyone, thanks again for hopping on in. So here's where we left off last night. Uh, we got so much farther than I thought. I thought we were gonna have to do the whole outline tonight, but we got practically all of it done. We left off here. I think I'm gonna just finish up all the black first and then we'll go in for his eyes and the smile and do all that. So, all right, I need some more black though. I think we have our piece cut. I just need to split it. So let's let's do that. Just bop on the ends here and uh, pull the strands out one by one. We're stitching with three strands. One, two, and three. Hey Debbie, hey Adrian, Ugh, I'm attached. There we go. All right, I don't think we'll need this last piece, uh, theoretically. <laughs> we'll see how far this one gets us. Grabbing my three ends. I might trim trim the end before uh, threading it because I have this little like weird little hook on the end of this and that's gonna be annoying. So I'm just gonna put these together and then trim the end. Just run it through the floss uh, scent first, thread conditioner. I will hold these back together a little bit better. Ugh. Getting away from me. All right. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Amy. Happy Wednesday. All right, let's trim. There, see this little, like, little hook at the end? That's going to just be annoying to me. So let's get rid of a teeny bit and needles right here. There we go. Way easier to thread with a nice uh, trimmed edge like that. All right, so I'm gonna weave in the backs of these stitches here on the leg. I think we'll, um, I was thinking maybe we'd stitch this first, but I'm kind of thinking let's go past this line. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll, I'll do the, these two chain stitches first and then I'll just hop back. That's what, that's what I'm gonna do, I think. Don't need to overthink it. So I am on tomorrow still, but that is it for this week. Uh, I am going to be on next week, though. I know um, someone asked uh, earlier in the week if this was the last week for the month. But nope, I'm going to be on next week as well. So Monday through uh, Monday through Thursday next week. And we're going to be finishing up any of the embroideries that are unfinished yet. And right now, I mean, theoretically, the yak is not done yet. We have to trim his little letter Y's. Um, and then the turtle. The turtle, we have quite a bit to do yet. Not not a ton, but like a good day's work uh, worth, I think. Um, and then, you know, theoretically, we'll be done with this guy. But yeah, I did check. We did actually finish the whale. I, in my head, I wasn't quite positive we finished the whale or not, but we did. Um, and then, yeah, so just the turtle. So we'll work on that next week. And then the other handwork thing, I was talking about this yesterday, but the other handwork thing that we don't have done yet is the pig. So we are hand quilting the pig. We, we also hand quilted the giraffe. So there's gonna be two hand quilted uh, pieces in this quilt 
Um, the rest is going to be machine quilted uh, with my little at home sewing machine here. And uh, yeah, it would be nice to get the hand quilting on that done, which is a lot. There's a lot to do hand quilting wise on that pig. I should pull that one out later. Um, then we can take a look at it. What did I do with all that stuff again? Where is this project? Oh, there it is behind me. Phew! <laughs> Wouldn't want to lose like this entire project. That'd be pretty tough. That'd be tough in this little house here. All right, I'm gonna quick do this satin stitch little hoof. Kind of doing all the stitches at once. Some chain stitch, some back stitch, and some satin stitch. Now, I think we'll do our, um, why don't we do our little special again tonight, you guys? Uh, so our live special, we don't do it every night, but um, yeah, let's do it tonight. If you order $20 or more in the shop, penguinandfish.com, uh, I'll throw in a free mystery gift for ya. Uh, if you watch during the live or like a little, a little bit after. All right, one last little stitch here. Actually turned out to be kind of a nice day today. It um, started out so windy and gloomy and like icy. I thought it was just going to stay that way, but. We ended up with a nice sunny day. Chilly still, but nice to have all the sunshine, <laughs> especially this time of year. And know that there's actual like heat coming out of it. A lot of times it's just a nightmare of cold when it's when it's sunny out, but it's been nice. I feel like it's been like a I don't know if anyone else is in the Midwest, but I feel like it's been a weird winter as far as temperature like there's no in the middle temperature it's either like high 20s to low 40s you know like a, a warm what i would call a warm range or it's like negative 10 and it jumps like every other week it hops around it kind of feels like or below zero at least It jumps. There's no like lead in and out. It feels like. All right, so we're gonna go up around his leg. We didn't do any of the chain stitch on this leg yet, so we'll have to kind of hop back and forth, kind of how we did his back legs. Again, I've never stitched this guy in just all all black. It's kind of fun. I mean, we'll do his little face in in color. But still. Oh, Lynn says we're getting six to eight inches of snow starting around 4 a.m. Oh my god, all the area schools have been canceled tomorrow. Are you in um, northern Wisconsin, Lynn? Um, I thought, thought you said you were in Wisconsin, right? I can't remember right. Or remember correctly. Yeah, because I think northern Wisconsin was supposed to get a, a bit. Dang though, six to eight inches. <laughs> it poured rain yesterday too. Like that was what was really weird. It just like, it like super duper poured rain. So dang, if we got like, oh, Southern Wisconsin. Oh, between Madison and Beloit, you're getting four to eight inches or six to eight inches. Holy cow. Oh, and Catherine in Kansas. Jeez, that's pretty far South for four to eight inches. Wow. Dang, okay. <laughs> Man, I feel like we're getting spring then compared to compared to you guys. Like we had like a literal rain for the entire day yesterday, so that was the first time in a bit for rain. Oh, let's do um uh well should we do reverse chain stitch? Yeah, let's just do reverse chain stitch. I kinda like that when I'm far away um from where my left hand usually sits. Where 
where is it coming from? Is it coming from the south? That seems bizarre. I mean, I know, like, you know, I'm in Minneapolis, so it kind of, like, swooshes underneath. So that's how it would hit, like, Kansas and Madison. But, like, whew, that seems like a weird place for, for <laughs> eight inches of snow to come from. Uh, I guess I haven't looked at the weather map in a bit. Oh, I pulled this too tight again. Now I can't get underneath. There we go. I don't like starting the, the reverse chain stitch. That's a little annoying, but everything after starting is awesome. Oh, it stretched from Colorado to Michigan. Okay. Huh. Must really like came up and swooped down and come back up or something. Swooped around us this time. Oh man, I couldn't imagine though if we had like all this rain and then like eight inches of snow right after. Ugh, God. I can't imagine that. I do feel like that's happened before, but still. Ugh. Ooh, Amy said it might get up to 60 tomorrow by you. Oh God, that's like the perfect. I think like 74. I'm calling that perfect. I'm gonna just do a forward chain stitch here. I'm feeling the forward ones today. I did I did the um reverse chain stitch all day yesterday, so if you guys are stitching the violet, the embroidery of the month, let me know how that's going for you. I've seen a couple over in the Facebook group and they're just looking so fun. Oh, I gotta, I gotta go back to my, I almost started doing the next chain stitch, but I gotta catch up on my back stitch here first. All right, there we go. Now I can get two more legs back and forth and then back to the chain stitch. I'm just turning it, turning it so it's more comfortable in my hand. So my left hand can basically be activated. I like holding um, that thread down with my thumb just so like, like right now, if I didn't do that, um, it would wanna, this thread would wanna pull uh, to the back, just like how I'm pulling this side. So if I keep my thumb there, then that helps it from like pulling, pulling to the back. And then I got like a big loop on the back or it's loose or something like that. Ooh, Lynn says, working on the violets. I'm getting real good at the stem stitch. I'm gonna do a video on the stem stitch soon. Um, just a, kind of, there's already a, a, we already have a stem stitch video over uh, in the stitch library at penguinandfish.com. So definitely check that out. Um, it shows how to turn a corner and stuff too, cause that can be a little tricky. Uh, but I'm gonna do another, another video on that too coming up. Cause yeah, that was a, that was um the stitch that was I think the most tricky for me until I discovered like the sewing method of of doing it. And actually now I know a way to do it like the stabbing method too that makes it feel a little bit easier compared to when I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> I couldn't figure like I couldn't figure out like how how could almost all of like the embroideries and stuff like from the 40s to the 60s be like all stem stitch if if like I was having so much trouble with it like it clearly I'm clearly missing something right because it needs to be chill <laughs> for everyone to be doing it um but then then I figured out oh they're doing it all with like a like the sewing method then it became like way easy Oh, weird. Amy says that YouTube's being weird with comments. Oh, you'll be doing the violet, but you started... Ooh, you started a cross-stitch! Maybe the embroidery next week. What's your cross-stitch of? That's exciting. You guys, I want to do a cross-stitch later this year. Ooh, that thread popping through funny. I started playing with, like, designing cross-stitches, like, little 
little ones and maybe we'll have time to like stitch up one of those sometime. I'm gonna try and do this like in all just like one big one. The two from the two little ones at the last one were just too small. Olin says the tricky corners are with the chain stitch. Yeah, so one thing you can do. Okay, so we'll we have a oh wait, no, that's not a chain stitch. That's gonna be a back stitch. I'm kind of out of I'm out of chain stitch. This is my last chain stitch, actually. Um Yeah, at the like I know what you're talking about, like the chain stitch, like it can just um like slide. Like if you turn a corner, if you um like the the previous chain or the the next chain or something will slide along the other one. Um, so one thing that I like doing is just adding like a little anchor stitch to to the one so it doesn't so it doesn't slide. Does that makes sense. So do a little demo on that too. I know we've done that before here a little bit, but yeah. Some of these, some of these sort of like common embroidery st stitches do have like little tricky bits that you wouldn't think about, like the like turning a corner, like that, or or um, curves and that sort of thing. So I want to get into like some of those little details. My last little hoof. You know what? I might actually need that other piece of black. A back stitch usually goes pretty far, but you know, I don't know. I'm working pretty small on this. We will see. Maybe some thread chicken. Got the hoofs in there somewhere. I think we'll get started on the Z's. I don't think we'll get that far, but I'm confident that we'll get it done though. Um I was worried we wouldn't be starting it till tomorrow, the Z's. And then, I don't know, I wasn't sure we'd get them done all in one sitting, especially with satin stitch. I definitely want to do satin stitch. I, I like the idea of um, getting the color in the satin stitch for this. Oh, uh, Lynn saying, question, I have one of your pocket skeins of pink floss. Will that be enough to chain stitch the border on the violet pattern? It definitely should be, uh, if you're, especially if you're using like three strands of thread from, like if you're splitting your six strands into three, which kind of doubles the amount you get per skein, then absolutely you should be able to. And actually if you even use, if you ended up using six strands, that should probably be enough for the border for chain stitch. But yeah, I've been doing, um, we've been doing three strands for, for all of the, all of the flowers so far. Oh, it's a framed piece with a quilt block in it. Ooh, that's fun, Amy, your, your cross stitch. Oh, it says families are like quilts stitched together a piece at a time. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> oh, you'll post a pic in the group. Okay, cool. I, I can't wait to see it. Jenna's actually been, I don't know if she's still here, but she's been cross stitching um, up a storm lately. I actually had an old cross stitch. I think I must have done a video or posted about it before um, from when I was little, I don't know, maybe 12 or something. I don't, I don't know, whenever I was cross stitching when I was little. And back then you could either do like the easiest like Christmas ornaments that were like this big or giant like um, landscape scenes almost. <laughs> Large, very detailed. Um, cross stitches, there wasn't much in between. And I, and back then I had picked out this cute little like baby tiger <laughs> to cross stitch, but I, I never got very far. I had like a little stripe of a nose and I think I did the eyes or something. And then it's been like literally sitting around for decades and I pulled it out and, uh, 
Jenna uh, said she'd stitch on it, so I gave it to Jenna, and she's been actually working on this super old um, cross stitch, and it's just looking so cute. And then she has her own cross stitches. I mean, that's hers now, but like she has other other ones of her own that she's been working on too. It's just fun. I feel like that has the like knitting vibe for me, like where you just like count, you know, you do your row and then you come back and it's just chill. All right, that's our last stitch. Oh, do I have a, oh no, that's just a jump. I'm gonna weave in the end here. Okay, here's a question for you guys. Jenna's posting it in the, in um, YouTube right now. Uh, question for those who are getting the texts, our uh, text messages that we've been sending out. Uh, do you like the timing of them, which is about 30 minutes before the live, or would you prefer that like more of a heads up, like an hour or two before the live? Um, let me know. Ooh, and Jenna, Lynn wants to see, Lynn wants to see uh, the cross stitches in the finger and fish page. <laughs> Ooh, Amy, cool. I'll I'll check it out. Uh, check your cross stitch out in the group uh, when we're done here. Amy says, or Amy says, uh, uh, 30, 30 minutes is good. Yeah, I think on on days like where we're still kind of under a schedule here, like where I'm still kind of coming on it at eight thirty, I think maybe the thirty minutes is is good. I think when I'm way more random, like if I haven't been on for a little while and then um, I just decide I'm gonna be on at some random time or some random day, uh, maybe a little bit more heads up. I don't know, let me know. Let me know what you think of that. Like if I'm gonna be on in the afternoon or like even if I haven't been on in a while and we're past our schedule. So it's after, it's after March and I decide like I'm gonna come on like two o'clock or something. Maybe I do send a text the day before letting you guys know and what we're gonna be working on and then maybe like a half hour before the actual time. Uh, let me know. Let me know something about that. If that makes sense. But you like the, sounds like people are liking the 30 minute so far with these like scheduled ones. All right, we got all the black done here. Um, all right, I wanted to do, for the smiley mouth, I wanna do um, pink. So I'm gonna have to look, so the mouth goes across the edge here and I kind of covered that up with, with um, all the black. So we'll just kind of have to like guess on those. So that's fine. Oh, Debbie says I get the text. I don't mind if it's 30 minutes or one or two hours before, okay. And Paula says, how about both? Oh, and with the URL, that's convenient. Oh, okay, cool. I know um, <laughs> yesterday the URL got crazy that we did not expect like all our URLs to be like four or five lines long. So I know that one was kind of weird. So we might have to, we'll resend it sometime so it's easier. But yeah, then you can like scroll back um, through the text and like click, click where we're at. Um, all right, uh, I want to do blue eyes and a pink mouth. We do have some blue. Let's let's use this super dark blue. Or not necessarily dark, but like bright blue. I think that'd be cute. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna like that. And what do we got for pink? How about this bright pink? It's like, ooh, dang, this is this is long. Definitely don't need that much. <laughs> Uh, I think that'll be cute. Do I have a different piece that's already split? No, there's a lot of pink in here. All right. Well, I think I'll just leave these long for now because I might want them long for later. And how many strands do we got here? Okay, we have four strands. So I'm going to separate one out of here. Now we're down to three. Let's do the eyes first. So um, I think I'm going to just weave in. Maybe we'll do a little traveling on this one. So usually I, I isolate the eyes and I don't weave into any of the backs of the stitches nearby. I usually start with the eye and end with the eye and weave it in. But we have like the, the stripes are so close to the eyes that I think instead of doing all that like starting and stopping, I think maybe I'll 
just weave into the backs of these stitches, then jump to the side, stitch it, jump to this stripe, and then like travel behind the backs of these stitches and then back down and then do this eye. I think I think I'm gonna do that. I don't usually do do that, but I think now's the time. All right. Um, this one right here. Okay. Sometimes I get a little turned around when I, literally, I suppose, um, when I flip, flip to the back here. Ooh, finally some color. I wonder if I want purple for the mouth instead. See what the purple looks like. All right. So these are kind of small eyes, but I'm still gonna do that hexagon shape. I think that gives like the roundest looking eyes on small little circles like this. Versus just like a diamond, for example. I think that feels more, you can tell that that's only a few stitches for his. Hexagon feels like a whole nice circle, I think. Ooh, I didn't stitch that one very good. I'm, I'm gonna actually take that out. Uh, I missed um, the like one little thread. I didn't go back in the exact same hole. And I know it's like super duper picky to like just take it out. If it was an outline on the outline, I wouldn't do it. But this is the eye and you're gonna look at that um, closer because it's the face. So let's redo that stitch. Little peek to her. There we go. This is a little wonky still, but better. Ooh. I ran the floss conditioner through this, I think. This came from the the cloud, <laughs> like my little like poofy cloud of excess. And uh, it's definitely wrinklier and Kind of more all over the place, so I think uh, I'll have to keep that in mind and definitely um, when I do the chain stitching, or the not chain stitching, the satin stitch down there, I'll have to run it through the conditioner. Ooh, these blue eyes are cute though for this. Just a teeny bit of color. I think the like brown kind of auburny color, the teddy bear color would have been pretty cute too. Oops, wrong side. Uh, I want to go, wait. Oh yeah, I was going to jump over here and go through the backs of these stitches. Through the back here. So I'm doing this instead of like starting and stopping all over again for the next eye. And right there. Okay, now I can start up the second eye. Put you in there. For some reason it's tricky to get back in that same hole. I think it's I got lots of stitches with all these chain stitches around. Oh, this idea of a purple smile. Alright, one last little stitchy for his eyes. <laughs> They're really fun, aren't they? Just those bright blue eyes. Ugh. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna weave in the ends, and that's it for this blue. That's quick. Nice long piece yet. All right, 
So here's what the um, pink will look like. So like here's like, let's just put in a little, little like smile. Testing it out. There, good, good. Stay there. There we go. <laughs> Actually, pink's not that bad. Um, and then I wanted to try like this light purple, maybe. Red would be kind of fun too, but I kind of like the purple. All right, and then here's kind of what this purple. All right, I think the purple is a little bit more subtle. So maybe I don't want to be subtle. I don't like this pink now. I'm going with the pink. First instinct, let's just stick with that. Now this piece is like super, like way longer than I need. Ugh, I think I am gonna just cut this. Yeah, it's way longer. It's just gonna be annoying for those few stitches. There we go. Separate into three strands. This looks like I might have all six strands yet. One. I mean, I still did it kind of long, but I figure if we do use some of it for the Z, I'll still want it longish. All right, and then I'll run it through the thread conditioner. All right, so I think this is just gonna be like three little back stitches worth worth it, but I do have to kind of like guess where it's gonna be. Oh, lost my needle it's back here. Actually, I'll just stay back here and weave in weave in the end right away. A puzzle hanging out there too. Okay, I am going to. I think I'm just gonna weave into the back of these satin stitches. Oh, jeez. A little shorter than I thought, I guess. One. Two. And three. All right. Okay, I think best way to do this should come up. Uh, I'm gonna start at the end and go like down into the sand stitches. I'm just totally guessing. And if this looks weird, I can always like take it out and redo it. But let's just go right there. I am I am sort of um eyeballing the instructions here. I'm kind of trying to see where his mouth is going a little bit. And whatever, like however you do the mouth, it's gonna look just fine. And that's what's gonna give it a character a little bit. So I'm gonna kind of aim and kind of come up. Nope, that looks as good as anywhere. And go right there. And I think it should go all the way to the end. So I'm gonna go all the way like off the side of the satin stitch. Up a hair. <laughs> all right, there we go. Cute, I like it. <laughs> He's silly. Oh, weird. Um, Noeline says, I've signed up for the text alerts, but haven't received anything yet. Maybe because I'm in Australia. That should still work. Um, I will check when we're done here and see, see if I can figure that out. I know it, it's, we have it to send, like we can have it set like, to send at other people's time zones, but we have it sent to ours, which means whenever we say it should send, it should send to everyone, regardless of their time zone. So it should it should be fine for Australia. I'll I'll look into that, Noeline. The last one that we sent was um a half hour ago, so or I mean, I guess an hour ago now. Half hour before we started. 
So if you signed up after that, then, then you wouldn't have gotten one. Oh, Debbie gets them in Canada. Okay, that's good to know. Huh. That's good to know. Then I know it's at least working a little internationally. Okay, maybe there is something, some deal with Australia, but I don't know why there would be. I'll have to look. I'll, um, we'll definitely check that out. But yeah, thanks for letting me know for sure. That's helpful. All right, there's his little face. Hey, we're done with him. <laughs> Yay. Um, that's always nice when it sneaks up on me like that. All right, so now we just have the Z. And uh, um, this I wanted to do similar to, I think what we did with the jellyfish. And I think we did it for the, uh, no, we didn't do it for the koala. Let me get the, um, I'm gonna get my bin of letters or of um, finished designs out again. Then why don't we take just like a moment, we can look at the pig and the turtle because those are the two that we have like stuff left to do with them. So we can kind of, take a breather and look at those. And then I wanted to just show you kind of my intention for these Z's. So here, let me grab my bin. My big blue bin for this project. Pop it open again, it is getting so full. I might have to transfer things out of here um, <laughs> as we get quilting. But all right, let's whoop, just flip some of this around. Get it out of the way. Yep, we got a few extra pieces here. Okay, so here's our turtle. Actually, maybe I'll just leave these out. That might be the way to do it. Just get these out already for next week. So we, we almost have him entirely filled up with all the little flowers. Isn't he looking so Freaking cute, oh my god. Man, I, I feel like I need to practice those Boolean knots a little bit more, but they're not looking as bad as what they did in my head. And we got that wagon wheel, a couple of them there. I think it's just looking so cute. Uh, we do have a few more leaves, it looks like I've drawn in. And then like, I wanted to fill like little French knots all around. Um, and then the letter T's, that's like, that's a big deal. And I can still see them here. I might trace a, them out a little bit again. Um, I think it's just dry, so my water soluble marker is going away a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I'll leave them out. And then the other one, the pig, let me find that I suspect that this thread comes with the pig. And we'll see. Uh, Lynn's saying, is there something about sending a text internationally? When I go to Norway in May, I was told it's better to send messages back to the States through Messenger instead of texting. Oh, interesting. Uh, am I, it's more expensive for, for me to text um, internationally. So, and, and it should change. Like, so there's some rules, like um, in the US, you have to have on the messages, like when we send out messages, like, you know, type stop to unsubscribe or something like that. Uh, for international, that actually turns into a link. Um, so that's the only, and then, you know, then it charges us a little, just a little bit more. So that's, that's the difference. Oh, here we go. That's the difference for me, at least texting. So I, I suspect if you're traveling, it's probably just more expensive to, to text versus messenger, which is just on the internet. Um, all right. So here's our pig and, oh gosh, I should, oh, I can see, I can see the clouds easy yet, but we only have like this little bit of the cloud stitched so far. So we have one cloud and we got uh, one, two, three. We got three and a half clouds to stitch. But I think we did this all in one sitting uh, when we were doing other stuff too. So um, maybe this won't take as long as what it will in my head. So that'd be nice. And that thread does not belong to this. So I don't know where that thread's coming from. Um, all right, so I'm gonna set him out too. So those are the kind of the two, the turtle and the pig um, are the ones that we just kind of need to, need to finish up yet. And that, so that's next week's project, basically, those two guys. Okay, and then I wanted to share the, I think it was the jellyfish. Um, <laughs> I forgot about those O's, that's cute. Um, is this still in order? Oh yeah, we did the little baby quail. Okay, it's fun to like through these again. We're gonna have to, it'll be fun to like lay them all out. Oh, we're getting there. Oh yeah, not quite like the koala. We did that one different. Oh yeah, so, well, 
look kind of like this, like kind of where we took, let me do this some other way, a different one too, probably, probably later I'll, I'll page back through, but uh, where we kind of took um, different strands um, of color. So like, you know, I was satin stitching with like this one, I was satin stitching with pink and red at the same time. Um, and then I have some solids, but I was thinking just like picking like three random colors, putting them together, stitching till I run out and then starting three more random colors. Um, it'll kind of be more blended like this maybe, but that's a different stitch. Did we do that anywhere else after the J? I feel like we did, but I'm not seeing it. Yeah, I guess not. Um, these more recent ones, we did blend like two colors together. So this is like two different blues. This is two, this is two different oranges, but we didn't do, um, yeah, I guess not. We didn't do like just piles of color together. So fun, good. So we'll get to do that now. Slap all my test guys. Oh yeah, and then I forgot. So here's our little like layout. Um, we do have to do these corners yet. Um, but I think we're gonna do them like in the, uh, Whatever this is. Actually, we could actually use this as one, couldn't we? Oh no, I'd probably do I'd probably do two of the same front and back. Yeah, I'd probably do two of the same. Although, you know, I could put this one in, why not? Yeah, maybe I'll consider that. And then I have uh, my little clipboard that we've been drawing with the dry erase marker, just kind of like testing our designs. So we'll need that next not next week. We'll need that um in March, because that's that's gonna be the whole big plan for March is doing as much quilting as I can as I can do. Oh, Nori says I love the turtle. I'm gonna watch to see how you did that. Oh my gosh, we've been working on that one for a while, so there's lots of weeks of us of us working on that one. So here's the cloud. <laughs> um, so I do want to just kind of grab one strand of a bunch of random colors. So I'm just gonna like pull, see what we got. Okay, so. I need, there's a blue. Let's see if I can find some other colors that are about that length. Oh, these are pretty, this one's pretty short. This one's a little longer. Let's grab one from here. I mean, we'll be switching colors a whole lot in this, uh, but that's fine, that's kind of the plan. And I'm gonna be like pretty random, I think. So, all right, here's my first three random colors. I'm gonna cut them all the same length. Maybe next round we'll have some more pinky ones in. So I got a green, a blue, and like an orangey gold color. I think the green's definitely the shortest. Actually, blue and green are about the same. Scissors, I need you. Oop. Okay, oh yeah, and I wanted to definitely uh, run this through the thread conditioner so these all kind of stick together a little bit better. Uh, sand stitches also kind of they lay flatter the threads um, when you pull them all apart separately which you know we're inherently doing with this because we're using three different colors. Oh god I already like all the color. <laughs> Nolene says that looks like my floss stash. I know so this is uh, we actually this is actually mostly not from this project. This is from uh, Jenna. Uh, she stitches all the sample guys. So like she, here's, here's like the embroidery of the month. So she stitched this up. So whenever she finishes it, she starts fresh with a new skein of floss each time. Um, you know, she doesn't use, use the stash. She uses a new skein of, of floss because then we can gauge like how many skeins of floss we need to put in, in the kits. Like if we need two skeins of one color or something like that. So. She always starts with fresh skeins. Uh, and then this is the leftover from all those fresh skeins. And so when we ran out of all the floss, when we did the main, like when I ran out of all my cloud of floss on this project from the main of the um, line, she brought, she brought these over and now I got a, a fresh little cloud of excess. Um, and you know, I'm thinking I'm gonna turn that into just like a pom-pom or something when I'm done here. Actually, you know, it would be fun. <laughs> what if we did like, this might look totally stupid, but it'd be kind of fun. We could make like four, 
little tassels, maybe, out of... Oh, it'd be a mess, but we could do, like, four little tassels, and we could put, like, a tassel at the end of each... Um, at the end of the corners of the... of the quilt. That might be kind of weird. I do kind of like that. Amy says maybe it, because the text isn't going through to Australia, because maybe it's tomorrow in Australia. Well... <laughs> That was my first initial thought, because that's just so funny, because you guys are in the future. But it should, like, whenever it's our, like, my um, time zone, like, if we say send now, it should just send to everyone else, regardless of their time zone. So, I don't know. We're going to have to check in, check it out, though, for sure, because that shouldn't be happening. Unless they have, like, some restricted countries, but that wasn't popping out at us either. I'm going to just tie a knot in the end. We're going to do our little away knot to start this. Which will be wasting a bit of this floss, but oh well. So I'm going to go about right there. Oh, let's, um, let me just come up here just to like, so I can set the needle down for a sec. But let's draw this out though quick. Um, let me use my water soluble marker here. Uh, how did we do this originally? Let's just take a look at that. Okay, so it looks like I did a satin stitch. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I did like straight across. So you, there's like a little seam there. And I kind of like those in this. And then the next seam, it's almost like a fold. Like if you folded this with paper, next seam is right here. So I didn't do the bottom line cutting it across. I did, I did it almost like you drew this and then you drew this and then, then this. I kind of like that. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm gonna do that with this too. So these are horizontal, these ones are vertical, vertical. Okay, I like that. So basically, we're gonna extend this line, and I'm gonna do it down here too. And we're gonna extend this line. Do it here too. So that's kind of um, our fill. So yeah, it looks like folded paper almost. That's kind of fun. All right, so, and then now I'm gonna draw like little guide posts on here. Uh, so I can, so here I'm gonna go horizontal, or I mean vertical. So I'm just drawing some vertical guide posts and then this one I'm gonna do horizontal. So this is just help, ooh, let's draw it this way though, that was crooked. Um, this is just gonna help me stay parallel as I stitch all the way down. I'm just gonna put a bunch of these in. I think the more, the easier it is. And then these, I'm gonna go vertical again. Trying to stay parallel to that. So let's, let's do the same here. Get her done right away. Then we can cruise through it tomorrow. Well, I only need a couple and then this way. So if we get this done, you know, tomorrow before our time ends and then we actually have we have the yak to do yet so I, I showed the turtle and the the pig but we actually have the yak yet to do uh and, and basically all that means is like trimming trim this guy up for sure we'll trim the the small y uh first get him all nice um <laughs> he's we haven't trimmed him at all so he's he's all over the place we did trim the large y uh, but I think we can do a better job. We can like shape him up a little bit more. I think so. Uh, we gotta do that yet too. <laughs> These long, long little turkey work stitches. But I think that turned out super cute. So that's that's the other unfinished one. But you know, barely unfinished. Oh, okay. Nolene says it it should send at the same time. Maybe it's missing the Australian prefix, which is um six one. I'm gonna write that down. Um, cause that could be the case. Um, we might have to contact you tomorrow for that. Cause I'm not sure if we're allowed to change the phone number. Um, if, if it's not, if that's not in there. Um, I'm not quite sure how, how we'll do that, but we're going to, I'm going to look into it. Uh, so Australia is, um, plus this one. Got it. All right. I'm gonna start this up. So I'm not gonna worry too much about like making sure all three colors lay lay flat and perfect. I'm just gonna go for it and 
Let it be a mishmash of whatever it wants to be. Pretty already with the green and yellow gold color. So we're just gonna, it's gonna look like a lot of like color shifts. It's not gonna all like blend from one to, one to the other. It's just gonna go to like run out of that particular thread. So some bits will be longer than others and some will be shorter. I think it'll be pretty cute. Actually, we probably will only get this. Well, I guess we didn't get this far into this as I was hoping, but um, well, we got, we got it all planned out because uh, we only have like nine minutes left or so. I'll probably go till this thread is done. Maybe we can pick the next three threads and, you know, weave in this end and weave in the, the end of the next conglomerate of thread and then we'll be like on our way just to cruise through it. Actually, I don't think, yeah, I think this will, we'll get this done tomorrow. I think, I think we can do it. Oh, you have the number in the shop account with the prefix. Okay, you'll double check. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I'm hoping it's just something silly on our end. We'll we'll take a look. For sure. Definitely um we're definitely learning a new a new program with the texting stuff, but um I'm glad you guys are liking it so far though. It was a big decision for us because I know it, it, it can be like so invasive just getting texts. So, um, you know, we're keeping it to just about the lives and stuff for now. But yeah, again, you're welcome to opt out anytime. If, and, you know, or if you're just like, yo, you're sending me way too many, you know, texts. Just let me know all that feedback. Good. Or like if you want more, like. Oh, I wish you would have let us know about that live sooner or something. Just, you know, all that feedback. Um, good for us. No. <clears throat> and you can just text back, text back um, to the text that you receive for, for that info if you want. Dang, this, uh, this little teeny bit of thread is going way farther than I thought. I thought I was only going to get like a, you know, quarter inch worth of uh, sand stitches. Good night, Nora. Um, but we're getting, we're getting way more than I thought. So nice little pretty blend here too, colors. I think it'll be cute if I, you know, I'm not going to be able to get all the way to the end here. So I think it'll be kind of neat if I, if it is stopped, like designy, if I, if it's stopped a little bit before and we get a teeny bit of some other color coming in. Just right at the end there. Be kind of interesting. All right. Yeah. And I guess before we leave again, um, I'll, again, uh, we're going to do our little bonus deal um, today. So if you order $20 or more from uh, penguinandfish.com during this live or about like 15 minutes or so after, um, I will throw in a free mystery gift for ya. And I'll go out tomorrow too. I'll get those little shits tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow's our last day together here again for the week. It's weird having um, Fridays off, but John's family came into town again today and they're working on the upstairs that trying to put in that second bathroom <laughs> to our house up there. And so uh, having Friday off will be good because they're, they're up there trying to be quiet uh, during, during the live here. So <laughs> thinking they don't want to worry about me doing this. <laughs> but they're awfully nice uh, to do that yet. Oh god, this is for sure my last stitch. I went maybe one too far. We have barely any to weave in here. We get two passes for sure, but the last pass is gonna be tricky. I might have to do it with the eye of the needle. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with the eye of the needle. I do that when I 
Don't have enough thread on the needle to turn turn the needle around. It's a little tricky though. There. All right, and then the that away knot that I didn't really leave too much thread for this either, but oh well, we'll we'll make it work. If I only weave it in twice, then who cares? It is that third turnaround that locks it in, but let's see what I can get out of this. Go a little higher up thread. Okay. Oh man, you guys, I haven't checked my Discord, my family Discord in a few days. I gotta see how see if there's more like baby Lincoln photos and and uh, baby little ripper puppy photos. <laughs> I'm missing out on all my my fam photos. I'll see if there's an update, then I'll let you know tomorrow. Ooh, it's fun to add some color today, though, in this guy. All right, there we are. Um, that's looking pretty fun so far. A lot of texture in those colors. So let's pick the next colors. I think we have time for that. I do kind of want to get you know, some of that pink back in. All right, so here, let's grab a strand of that. This is a nice, good length. Should last us a bit. Um, How about this yellow? That's kind of screaming at me. Here's a different piece. Maybe it's yellow and purple. How about that? Oh, this yellow isn't very long, though. I want a longer piece. Let's pull from this giant piece here. How long is this purple? Oh, nice and long, good. Let's grab one from there. So this one's gonna be purple, pink, and yellow. Oh, that's more than one piece. All right, that's a good size. So we're getting set up for tomorrow. So we can just start right at it. That'll be good. So I think I'll run this through the thread conditioner First, well, no, we'll trim it. I'll trim it so they're about the same length first, and then I'll go through the thread conditioner. There we are. Ooh, this is gonna be bright and sunny, this little bit. Okay, ooh, the pink ended up being the shortest. I thought that was gonna be uh, the longest. All right, there we are. Run through the conditioner. It's nice that I got uh, the pig and the turtle out right away, though. That'll save me time later, too. And then I can take a look at them again tomorrow. Oh, uh, Nolene says, checked my account. My phone number is there now, so it should be okay. Okay, I'll double check, too, when we're done here. Um, definitely let me know tomorrow uh, if, you don't, if you don't get it, though, again. Uh, all right, needle. Thread this. Weave it in. This is like a good like little 90s colors palette right here. So we got a little teeny tish at the end of this top uh, part of the Z. A little a tiny little bit of pink and yellow and stuff at the top, and then we'll go down that diagonal. So I'm gonna just come up. We did top to bottom, didn't we? Right there. Oh gosh, I want to finish it. I'm gonna do a couple. We're gonna finish this little top. <laughs> we got we got half a minute, right? I can get three stitches in here. Ooh, maybe even just two stitches. Uh oh, uh oh, there we go. We got them. Fun. Okay, there we go. And then I think we'll just come up on this side. And this will be my indication of where to start. I just want to keep going, but we'll, we'll save it for tomorrow. It's 9.30 now, but it's nice. We're all set up here for tomorrow. There's our pretty Z. We got our little fun little smiley smile in there yet. Let me see if I get close up so you guys can see the colors. There we go. So that's the colors so far in his little face. Uh, so there we are, a little bit of that shift. 
Fun. All right. I feel great about this. Oh, uh, and this is neat though. Like just that tiny, like I love the black and just that tiny little bit of color is really going to make this like pop a little bit. I think it's going to be nice. All right, you guys. Okay. So I'm really liking it. Like I said, uh, just those teeny, teeny little pops, uh, are looking really nice. So awesome. You guys, thanks again for all the feedback on the texting. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, it's definitely a new thing for us, and uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you you keep liking it, and well, let me know if we go overboard. Uh, but okay, and uh, yeah, I'll let the uh, that special will go for another fifteen minutes or so. Uh, order uh, twenty dollars or more at penguinandfish.com, and I'll throw in a free mystery gift. Uh, have a lovely evening, everyone, and I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow will be our last uh, day of this week, and I'll be back on Monday. So see you then. Good night.